And they give you a free glass of wine. I don't know what this is, but this is not ice cream. Hello, the dandelion? Salutare tuturor, my name is Elena and this is Elena the Expat, a blog in which I talk about the expat lifestyle and slow travel. A couple of months ago, I returned back to my home country, Moldova. I know here every nook and cranny and I want to give you a local perspective on what's hot and what's not. In this episode, I want to cover the thing that Moldovans love most. This is the wineries. We are waiting for our friends to pick us up and I'm very curious about the first winery, Poyana, because it was a very controversial one a couple of years ago on Facebook. They basically said that they don't accept any patrons coming with kids, which turned into a huge scandal and I'm really interested to see how things have changed now. We do have a kid in our party and we'll be dining a little bit late. Salute! Salute. here we've just arrived at the winery and the size of it it's it's just huge uh, there are beautiful vineyards that surround the restaurant and there's also the production facility here which is very impressive right there is a helicopter stop so probably some rich Moldovans are traveling here by helicopter this is apparently their summer terrace uh, but now it's the end of September, it's pretty chilly, so I don't think we'll be staying here. And this is the famous view that Poyana is known for. Filming everything makes you the last person to arrive everywhere, so <laughs> your friends are waiting for you. And I want to be sociable and spend time with them, but I also want to shoot those amazing views. And here at Poyana, there are so many lovely places. Let's get a taste of those grapes. The grapes that are supposed to turn into wine are not very delicious. It's not too bad. They're actually pretty, pretty sweet. The sun is out for maybe five minutes, so I'm gonna try to enjoy it as long as it lasts. The infrastructure though is inexistent. My friends told me that before this it was even worse, but there are a lot of places where you basically have to walk on the ground or on the grass. It's very quiet and peaceful here. I'm not sure if that's because the season is over, and uh, maybe we didn't come in the best of weather. Regardless, I like it so much here. We have to keep away from the swans. They don't look very happy that we are here. And I don't fancy being attacked by a swan. Goodbye, swans. We have to get up the hill, which will be a very steep walk. And um, our reservation is starting. We'll get some lunch slash dinner and drink some wine. Blow the dandelion. This is their production facility, or at least looks like, but I think it's closed today. Uh, they don't work during the weekends. I mean, they don't produce wine during the weekends. So this is the only view I can offer. This is the busiest we've seen the winery. So people come here mostly to eat, which means their food must be good. The menu that they have here is very creative. I chose the white set, which is trout tartare, zander with leek puree, sounds very fancy, and then swallows nest dessert. And Eugene got himself warm rabbit salad, childhood chicken and seasonal fruit basket. I am very excited about the food. The views are just amazing here. Look at this terrace. You can see the vineyards, you can see the lake, you can see the parking. Well, <laughs> it's not ideal, but still.
You can also order a la carte the dishes that you like and we have a common platter to share with lots of traditional dishes. Looks like mamaliga. It's pretty good. Grilled sausage, meat with dough and mustard and it has such an incredible taste. This is what my dad used to do with mamaliga on the second day when it's already cold. I bit into this bowl of mamaliga and there's some meat inside. This is our food, but it looks so weird. This is the tartar. Looks very unusual. Mm. Mm. The fish is really fresh. And it comes in a white sauce with some minced vegetables. No, it's actually fruits. It's grapes, strawberries, and um, peaches. Let's try the dessert. The presentation sure is interesting. There's some sort of ice cream here, which are the eggs of the swallow. Mm. I don't know what this is, but this is not ice cream. And then there are like pasta noodles or puffy pastry. That is the nest itself. And in the center, it looks like shredded nuts. Poyana has a wonderful tradition. If you're here at the sunset, they invite everybody on the terrace to watch the sunset and they give you a free glass of wine. Final impressions on the winery. It's very new, it's very posh, and it has the most amazing design, but unfortunately it's not very accessible. So if you have small kids, strollers, or have some disabilities, it will be very hard to commute on the premises of the winery. Did I like the food? It was very creative in presentation, but taste-wise, it's not something that I would return again and again to the same place. That being said, I think the wines were just exquisite and it was so strange for me that on the menu, they didn't have you know, positions for the wine tastings. I have to actually ask the waiter to know that they uh, offer wine tastings. They are a bit pricey. So the wine tasting consisting of three wines where the cheese platter was 400 lei, and then one of the portion sets with dessert, starter, and main was around 550. The portions are not very big. It's a great place to go for the views. The restaurant is very interesting. The food is okay and the wines are exquisite. Overall, I think it's a good experience.